What's up guys? A bunch of new cards came out, a bunch of the new playoff collections, I'm sure you guys have been keeping up with them. Uh, but this one in particular caught my attention just because it had a couple of Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, so I decided to pull a couple of packs and see what I got, tested my luck, and you see the first pack I really didn't get anything. I got the Geno Atkins. You know, I haven't done any of the collections at all for the play playoff cards, so I have to you know catch up sooner or later, so might as well do it now. I was really holding out until just about now where they release the really good cards and stuff they're probably going to release even better ones two weeks from now when the super bowl champions um you know are announced i don't know if you guys have been keeping up with football i know you guys play madden but do you guys keep up with the real nfl uh, i think it's going to be a blowout now i am going to give a pretty good card i'll give out our cornerback rod woodson to whoever can pro guess the score first now of course you only get a one try so you go ahead you know post whatever i got that george blander right there which is pretty nice on a ray rise but go ahead and post whatever score you think it is and it's kind of it's funny to pick it now because if you pick it now you still have to guess the winners of the afc and nfc championship and then guess the winner of the super bowl so it's kind of interesting you get a you know you get a nice rod woodson card um it's gonna be kind of cool so i haven't got anything out of these playoff cards and i'm opening up the i got the redskins home kind of gay i don't even like that i mean all of they do have nice jerseys but ronnie lott and i feel like now they're just pushing out the one stars they don't even care about the one stars anymore so they're kind of forcing them out to the public because they really don't mean anything anymore i know my two star lawrence taylor is totally obsolete i worked really hard for it. i remember paying 108 thousand for it which was a lot at the time but i remember paying 108k I bought the one star, collected him, did the two star collection, and he was the best player in the game. He didn't play so well, but still, now he's going for like 20 to 30k, which is pretty ridiculous. The two star one is kind of sucks, man. I don't like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think about all the new cards being so much better than the old cards. I haven't pulled really anything good since. I don't think in this. Con I remember last year I pulled Aaron Rodgers. This year I really haven't pulled anything that's crazy. I pulled a Steve Young there, which I didn't have, so it's kind of cool to have a Steve Young. I can probably do his uh, his ultimate legend collection. And the Brandon Browner, my favorite player in the NFL. Not really, but sort of. So I'm, I'm keeping some of these cards. I'm discarding some of these cards because I don't really want them, but I kind of have to have them. And all the playoff cards I'm obviously going to keep because I have to keep up with the collections. Back to real football, I, I personally think that, uh, well, I thought the Seahawks were going to win, so that my vote doesn't matter anymore, but the uh, 49ers and the Patriots are going to win this weekend, it's going to be the 49ers and the Patriots in the Super Bowl, and I think the uh, Patriots are going to win it, I think Tom Brady's going to get to that number four, is it four Super Bowl wins, and number six appearances, grammatically that didn't make sense, so six, it's going to be a sixth appearance in the super bowl which is an, an an amazing number because no one has ever done that in their life i think i could be wrong double check that let me know if you guys know better than i do but it's gonna be crazy and i don't want the ravens to win i mean obviously i have my biased opinions but i feel like the broncos should have beat the ravens i mean that was a really really good game i've really i pulled the darren spoles right there this was a pretty cool card i got a little excited i didn't get too happy because it is a darren spoles and it's probably like the easiest card out of all of them to collect um nevertheless i was a little happy that i finally got one of the up-to-date cards so that didn't make my money you know magically grow back but it's okay and i forgive ea for screwing me really hard but some of the cards that came out were super stacked like i remember last year they had the santonio holmes and the james harrison which came out and i had them both i bought them thanks to one of my duckhead to do do friends i think that's how you pronounce the name but um, both of those cards worked really well. They played really clutch for me. Santonio Holmes is a beast. He's always, you know, getting good yak yards after catch. Um, James Harrison, for some reason, was an interception monster. Obviously, you know, his zone coverage probably jumped up a bit because of that 100-yard return. But in this game, I, I went back to my 4-3 defense. Normally, I run a 3-4. I went to a 4-3, and I put James Harrison in the end. And the other day, he actually had a 100-yard return. So I really want this James Harrison card just to see how beastly he is. He's probably a disgusting freak of nature. Uh, but, yeah. So that was the last pack, and that's totally, totally disappointing. But I'll get over it. I'll fight through it. Now here, I'm going to show you real quick the cards that the new cards that were released it's going to be the drew Brees two star darren sproles which i never actually checked out his stats but he has pretty good stats larry fitzgerald when he had that beast playoff run santoni holmes my boy too bad he's a jet 
That's pretty good stats. Jordy Nelson. I hate Jordy Nelson because, you know, obviously they beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl, but they suck. Vernon Davis' stats are really disappointing, and Gronkowski's stats are really, really good. It spent the 87 speed, I don't believe. James Harrison with that plus two to zone coverage. Now, a lot of people on YouTube don't show you guys this. I haven't seen them. I was looking up what the what the rewards were, but if you guys search on the auction block, you see the Lawrence Taylor, Rodney Harrison, Otto Graham, and, J and Mean Joe Green. So they released another Mean Joe Green. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. It makes my cards suck. Now, you know, I'm, I hate the Patriots, so I'm not going to go for that Rodney Harrison card. The Lawrence Taylor, eh, it doesn't have that... You know, that amazing of stats. But the autogram has really, really good stats. And so does the Mean Joe Green. So thank you guys for watching. And hasta luego.